Hey guys, I'm going to do a little bit of work this morning before I head out for service calls. Um, but I just wanted to show you, this is a different way of laying things out. This is called die chem. And um, it's just a blue layout material. If I can open this up with one hand, I'm holding my phone with the other. But if you've never seen it, it's just very, it definitely stains clothes. But it's a very dark blue layout fluid. And machine shops use this. And they use this for all sorts of work to mark stuff. And you brush a little on, like I did here. It's almost an iridescent type blue. And remember these dividers from an earlier video? You can find them in an antique store for just a few bucks. They all have them. Uh, you can run and just, instead of using this jig that I talked about in that one video for laying out centers, you can do it this way. And you can just take find your center you can adjust this scribe it boom make a mark you probably can't see this in the video but I made a, a mark I scratched it in the blue now you will not mar the material when you do that because that die chem layout fluid is super sensitive so even the slightest bit will scratch it without scratching the actual metal okay um, once I did that I found my angle of course because of my string I ran it up tight and I'm just gonna worry about this end I'm not gonna worry about the other end yet so once I have that I just transfer my angle but this time I flip my angle finder around okay and I scratch it in once I scratch that mark in I take it on my disc sander and I grind to it okay now I left myself an extra eighth inch to the mark. I didn't go to my scratch. I went an eighth inch away. And what I did is just from experience, I knew I had to kind of round it. So I rounded it right away. And then I went right to the grinder. I ground a radius here, ground a radius on the end. And if I can hold this with one, <laughs> one hand, let's see here. It fits about like that. Okay. And you can see that joint fits perfect. Okay. So now once I have that, now remember I can stay away from the line because my lower long run and my wing fitting up above is parallel. So I could slide this back and forth and get my measurements. I don't need to be on my mark yet. As long as I'm parallel with that string, I know my layout is good. So up here, I just kind of have it. There's my piece of tape. I want to use that to hold this end. I'm going to go up there with my angle finder, find the angle, and then start on the other end.